Welcome to Time Alone with God, a devotional podcast brought to you by Eden Stream Ministries. I am Misati Burachara, and before we begin this devotion, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day that you have given us, and I pray that as we begin to study your word, that you may enlighten our minds, that we may understand that which you're going to teach us, for it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today's devotion is entitled, Seeking the Lord, and we shall be reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 5 to 7, and it says, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. That's a wonderful promise. We're told that nations are going to come to us, so the world in general, people from the world, will come to you and ask you about the faith that you believe in. They'll ask you, why is it that you do this? Why is it you believe in the Bible alone? Why is it you trust God so much? And we need to have a reason for the hope that is within us. And so we're told in order to be able to answer those people in the right way, to show them the way of salvation, we need to seek the Lord while he can still be found. This also means that there's a time God will not be found. God will be, and it's not like God is going to run away from us, but we're the ones who will be too far from him to be able to seek him. Remember, you can never be on middle ground. If you're not fully on the Lord's side, then you're on Satan's side. Satan just needs 0.0001% in order for you to be on his side. God requires 100%, but Satan doesn't care. He just needs very little of you, and he knows that you are his. Therefore, we're told, seek the Lord while he may be found, before Satan catches you and clutches you and makes sure that you will never go and seek the Lord again. Call upon him while he's still near you, and forsake your wicked ways and your unrighteous thoughts, and Return unto the Lord, and He will have mercy upon you. He will abundantly pardon you. And then you will be able to answer to other people. Tell them about your experience, how you trusted in God, and you sought Him and found Him, and how He delivered you from sin. Let's read a small quote from the book, Testimonies for the Church, page 144, and paragraph Three, and it says, It is our privilege to have faith and salvation. The power of God has not decreased. His power, I saw, would be just as freely bestowed as formerly. It is the church of God that have lost their faith to claim, their energy to wrestle, as did Jacob, crying, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. Enduring faith has been dying away. It must be revived in the hearts of God's people. There must be a claiming of the blessing of God. Faith, living faith, always bears upward to God and glory, unbelief downward to darkness and death. So we really need to believe that God is there for us. Otherwise, we'll never go to seek Him. If you don't believe that God is there and He will answer, you won't seek Him. All you'll be doing is mere formalism. And so let's have faith in God that He's still there, that He can still abundantly pardon your sins, that He can still transform you to become a wonderful, new, holy and righteous creature. And let us hope that we will be able to spread this message to other people who are still struggling in darkness and sin, that they may be able to also come and experience that peace that passes all understanding. May the Lord be with you, and let's bow down for a word of prayer. 
Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for your word today that has taught us that we should seek you while you can still be found, call upon you before it's too late, and that we may forsake our unrighteous ways, our wicked ways, that also when others come to us to ask us a reason for the hope that is within us, we may be able to give them an answer in confidence and faith. I pray that you may please take care of us throughout this day and the rest of our lives. For it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us again today in Time Alone with God, a devotional podcast brought to you by Eden Stream Ministries. See you next time.